I'm Randleberg, your concierge yacht broker with LoveThatYacht.com. I was asked recently what the differences are between a motor yacht and a sport fisher. A uh, client's looking for a family boat, has some kids, and so I went through a discussion. I wanted to discuss the difference. Um, motor yachts are terrific yachts. They're seagoing, there's lots of room. Usually they have a flybridge, it's enclosed or open. Sometimes there's air conditioning up the flybridge. But one of the main differences between a motor yacht and a sport fisher is that motor yachts generally have molded in stairwells that are pet and child friendly and heavy seas is a much safer way to get up and down from the bridge. Sport fishers on the hand tend to have stainless steel ladder style access to the bridge. Not all of them, but most of them. When you get up to the bigger boats, let's say a 65 Viking enclosed bridge, they have not only the ladder access, but they have an indoor spiral staircase up to the bridge, which is great for heavy weather and for kids and for pets. But most boats don't have that. So keep that in mind. The other thing is that motor yachts generally have a walk around capability with a nice rail system and handrails to walk forward and back and sun pads on the bow. Most fishing boats don't have rails. It's an open deck forwards. So you gotta hang on pretty good. That's because sometimes clients want to fish around the boat. Dinghy wise, most motor yachts carry their tender either on the back of the flybridge or on the swim step in the back. Some have opening toy garages where the thing will go in, where a fishing boat almost universally has it on the foredeck and a chalk with a big davit up there. The other difference is engine size. Fishing boats tend to have much bigger engines. Uh, a 65 foot Viking, for example, might have 1800 horsepower engines whereas 65 foot motor yacht might have 12 or 1300 horsepower engines. Uh, they don't have to be the first to get to a fishing ground. They don't have to do 38 knots. Cruising at 20 knots or 25 with a family is plenty. So fuel economy is generally better with a motor yacht. And those are kind of the major differences. Uh, the final difference is visibility. Motor yachts tend to have the helm forward for forward visibility with seating with guests behind the flybridge and maybe a, a tender or a sun pad behind that. So it's difficult to see behind you and you generally need a crew or, or family members or friends to watch you when you're backing into a slip or picking up a mooring or something where fishing boats Generally, the helm is pushed back as far as it can so the captain can turn around and see the people working the cockpit and back the boat down on the fish. What that gives you is tremendous visibility all the way around. The exception is an enclosed bridge fishing boat. Uh, it's pretty hard to see around that enclosed bridge. You can need someone on the back of the bridge uh, helping you back the boat up. And many times there's steering and power at the stern of the bridge to accomplish that. So. There you have it, the differences. Find out what you love and enjoy it. There are differences. I'm Randall Burr, your concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com.